Rather than large, welcome back to Costa Snow Podcast. My name is Kosi. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in all parts of the world. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. Now, Julio Baptista is an Arsenal player and also ex-Brazilian international. And he was asked about what he thinks is going to make Arsenal great again. And he said the answer to Arsenal's problem, the answer to Arsenal's uh, recovery is one player and that player is Neymar. So in his own words, when asked about the um, current trend of Arsenal Football Club and what we need to complete the revolution we are on, Julio Baptista said, Neymar is the key to open and complete everything at Arsenal Football Club. And that's why on my thumbnail you've seen is Neymar the new Thierry Henry? Because during his time at Arsenal, Thierry Henry was the key to every Arsenal aspect. The way we defended, the way we passed the ball, the way we scored, the way we dominated games. It was all about Thierry Daniel Henry. This is a video of yes and no. So it is easy. Do we need a superstar signing? Yes or no in the comment box below. Do we, name, do we need Neymar? as the new superstar signing at Arsenal. Yes and no right in the comment box below. That is all um, I want us to talk about in this video. Neymar to Arsenal. We've always had those rumors be there. Um, we've talked about Neymar um, and his career. Less impressive for PSG, more impressive in Brazil and Barcelona. Do you think Neymar can come at Arsenal and become our TL Henry and complete what we have started? Can he be the icing on the cake? Can he be the tip of the iceberg? I want your thoughts. I want your opinions right in the comment box below. Hit the like button. Let's get this video to 500 likes and let's have our thoughts as Arsenal fans. Now, this is actually a statistics to begin with because it is a key in, um, in, in Neymar's career ever since he started playing football for PSG. Neymar did not play any games below 30 for Barcelona. So the least amount of games he played for Barcelona in the La Liga were 30 games. And that is actually pretty very, very, you know, th that's actually very, very impressive. When I looked at his statistics for Barca, I was absolutely very, very astonished. So Neymar has played 30, 34 and 32 games respectively for FC Barcelona in the three years he actually spent at the side. Neymar has never played more than 22 games for Paris Saint-Germain. The highlight of that is injuries. And of course, we're going to talk about uh, his injury record and why I think maybe Arsenal need to um, you know, stay clear. Stay clear of Neymar. So let's start off with the injuries. And um, before we get into the claims of uh, Julio B Baptista is th that he's the player that Arsenal need. I, I, I think there's a problem with Neymar. He's either having artificial injuries. For example, he's having that you know annual injury, that um, every year injury that comes in towards the birthday of his sister. I think that is either very, very lucky to have um, such an injury towards the birth of his sister uh, for, for six years, or that is actually manufactured. So regardless of what, uh, what it is, I think Neymar would be a very expensive player. And I'm not saying Arsenal should not sign him because it's very, very expensive. I'm saying that if Arsenal were to sign him, he, we definitely need results. We would definitely ask for um, results. We would want to see uh, results. We would love to see Neymar on the pitch every now and again and would love him to do uh, the things Chele Henry did at Arsenal. We would love him to be that kind of guy that, um, you know, teams identify um, as the Arsenal guy. I don't think Neymar has that. I don't think Neymar is going to do that. At the time he's been at PSG, um, he's failed to live up to that expectation, in my opinion. If I look at all the players that have been at PSG ever since they got that huge amount of money, Edson Cavani, in my opinion, there was some time when Edson Cavani really lived up to his expectation at PSG. Zlatan Ibrahimovic, there was a time when um, uh, he lived up to his expectations at um, at PSG. Verratti has lived up to his expectations at PSG. And you could argue that Kylian Mbappe and Messi, regardless of, uh, of whether they've, they've won uh, the UEFA Champions League or not, have also been ahead of Neymar in terms of uh, brilliance for PSG. So I, th I think Neymar 
lost it when he came, you know, when he left Baka and he joined PSG. He should have stayed at Baka for probably two more years, probably three more years. He wanted to go be a king of himself in his own jungle. And that actually didn't work out. Injuries are one of the reasons. So I don't think Arsenal really need to sign uh, such an injury-prone player. If you've been injury-prone in a league where you are actually a star, in a league where uh, you're very protected, I don't think the Premier League is going to protect him as much. With uh, the, new, uh, the new laws being introduced in the Premier League claiming and actually stating very clearly that um, what is considered aggressive is going to change the parameters of defining aggressive are actually going to change so players are going to be more physical and the league is actually going to be more physical than what we have known i don't think neymar is up to the challenge of the premier league I I'm, I'm sorry i just don't see him as a player that can come in the premier league and rock and what we are looking for is we're looking for a star right because julio Baptiste says he can open and complete everything at arsenal so the injury record, literally that is a downside, in my opinion. I, I would love Neymar. He's a good player, but his injury record is absolutely very, very catastrophic. But let's dive into Neymar as a player and what exactly uh, he brings at Arsenal, what he brings at the club, and what, uh, and what Mikel Arteta has actually um, created. So Neymar is brilliant as... Uh, as, as, as a free bowling player. So he's one of those players that you put him on the pitch and he can literally do anything with the ball. But that actually has been detrimental to PSG's success um, rather than being an aid. And when you look at Arsenal and you look at how we set up, I think our roles as a team... And our positions have actually been very, very tailored and they are very specific. And Mikel Arteta puts a player on the pitch with clear instructions of what you ought to do and what you cannot do. So that's why you see we do not see a lot of flair from our players. Although there are so many players that are really, really talented in this Arsenal side and can give you that... Um, extra bit of entertainment so i think saka is talented he would love to beat one or two players every every now and then and, and then martinelli is brazilian martin Odegaard is so so talented but because we are very very tailor specific because our roles are really specific you look at every arsenal player as a as a role player so i don't think neymar is going to come into this arsenal side and be a role player i think if he comes in he would love to be. Uh, he would love to be given that free role, Eden Hazard uh, style at at, at Chelsea. Um, probably what Kylian Mbappe would be having at Real Madrid, um, and things like that. And I don't think that is where Arsenal are. I think we've 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 gone out. We are we we are off. I, I don't think Arsenal are, you know are there. I don't think we're going to offer anyone a free role. We will sign huge players. We will sign big names like we've signed Rice. We will sign big names, like we, we, we will sign uh, probably a huge name striker. I won't be surprised if Arsenal eventually go and sign Victor Rossiman. Because, again, Victor Rossiman is another player that, you know, I, I would say Arsenal need probably in the next two years. When we try to win the UCL, when, when we try to um, complete our system, we might need to sign a player like Victor Rossiman, right? But to be honest, I don't think... You, you know, we're going to sign a player who is going to require a free role. I don't think we're going to sign a player who is going to um, disorganize our system. So that is the problem with Neymar. And that is the uh, th that is the bad news with Neymar. That everywhere he's played from Santos, when he came in at Barcelona, he was a little bit constrained and restrained. Hence, he asked for his freedom and he asked to go to uh, Paris Saint-Germain. And then at Brazil... He's actually playing as a free release. Uh, he's the star man. And if he came in at Arsenal, where we've already groomed a couple of players to be, you know, our star men, where you have players like, you know, Saka, already groomed to be uh, Arsenal's star men, I kind of feel like um, he would struggle, right? He, he would really, really struggle a little bit. But let us get to the positive side right because I've, I've i've started off on the negative note because that is what i think of neymar that is what uh, i see and i hear when we talk about neymar to a club like arsenal 
uh, or any other Premier League side. So let's talk about Neymar and his numbers because his numbers are truly mount, you know, mind-blowing. Ever since going to PSG in 2017-18, uh, he's played six solid seasons. And you will be surprised that there is no season where he's not, where he's not managed uh, double figures in terms of goals and assists. So he's always been averaging at least uh, 14 goal contributions per campaign. The lowest coming in 2020-2021 when he played only 18 games for them. Okay, so in his first season, he had 19 goals and 13 assists. That was the name that they signed. And um, the next, the seasons after that, he actually kept, you know, kept on deteriorating and reducing and declining and, uh, you know, falling in terms of, uh, in terms of what is actually expected of him. So uh, when you look at um, uh, his last season, 2022-2023, that is actually where he actually gave us the name of vibes of why he signed for Paris Saint-Germain. In this season, he scored 13 goals and assisted 11 times. That is 24 goal contributions in one single season. So I think, you know, um, PSG have had bits and pieces of him. They've also had a mixed, you know, a mixture of what Neymar actually is all about. But I think there is a point when Baptista says they need Neymar. Arsenal need Neymar. He's been rather consistent and very inconsistent as a player. And I think we will need this. We will need consistent performers and we will need guaranteed numbers. I think what Neymar does and why um, any side would actually benefit from his, uh, fr from his presence is those guaranteed numbers. So first season... 19 goals second season 15 goals third season 13 goals fourth season nine goals the season uh, the season before last season 13 and last season 13 goals so clearly there is in there there is a player that is consistently going to score for you goals despite the fact that he's not your number nine despite the fact that he's not your striker and he will definitely give you the assist so every single season he has managed at least five assists per season, only in the French League one, right? So despite his injuries, despite his uh, uh, lack of consistency on the pitch, it shows that whenever he's actually been on the pitch, he has delivered. Actually, it is only on, uh, in three seasons where Neymar failed to, um, failed to have more goal contributions than the, than the number of goals he scored. Because in 2020, 2021, he had 18 goals and 14 goal contributions. So that was less. In 2021, 2022, he had 22 games and he had 19 goal contributions. Again, that is, the, that is less. But in the rest of the other seasons, in the rest of the other campaigns, Neymar has actually had more goal contributions, that is goals and assists, than the number of games he's actually played. So it means that there is a player in there, there is a machine in there, if you can get him to play games, if you can get him to be fit and um, you know play on a regular basis. But why I think Neymar's time for, to play for Arsenal is over is his profile as a player. Born in 1992, Neymar at the moment is, is, is 31 years. He's earning over 40 million per year. Literally, 40 million per year is four Arsenal players. That is four or five Arsenal players, um, uh, you know, salary that is Neymar, the Neymar is actually earning at the club and at the moment at PSG. So that is something that um, I definitely don't see happen. I don't see Arsenal go out and spend um, 40 million on Neymar. Like, he's 31. If you're going to sign him, Right now from PSG, I think he has a two-year deal unless you're going to sign him on loan. And even if you signed him on loan, 40 million is a lot of money uh, for us to give a 31-year-old. So you look at our profile, profiling of, of, of new signings. You look at what Arsenal try, are trying to do um, in terms of new signings. We're trying to sign young players with a big future, right? So I clearly don't see Neymar in that bracket. But the question, 
that Julio Baptista or Julio Baptista actually uh, put in front of us, can he be our Chile Henry? Can he go on to, you know, perform magic for Arsenal? Can he be the player that performs that magic for Arsenal um, to an extent that we forget Chile Henry? I think five years ago, if Arsenal signed Neymar for 100 million, our money could have been um, exhausted by now. Like, if we signed him during that time when we had Unai Emery, right, he would have scored for us goals, more important goals, and probably would have some important silverware. Probably would have been very, very influential in the UEFA, UEFA Europa League final uh, when we played Chelsea under Mauricio Sarri. Look, right? But right now, I think it's kind of more of um, a misconception. And I call it a misconception because I think Arsenal needs the experience. But we, you know, in those areas where Neymar plays, we need more younger players. So I don't see Neymar as the key to completing Arsenal's success, just like Julio Baptiste says. So I disagree.